Hi, and welcome to the Caterpillar Cross Stitch YouTube channel. My name's Ford from Son of a Stitch. I'm joined this week by my supervisor, Nugget the Parakeet. And this week, we're going to teach you a fun little project that is how to make a custom cross stitched greeting card like this one. <laughs> Here at Caterpillar Cross Stitch, we are all about cross stitch, and we upload helpful and, we like to think, entertaining videos about it every single week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video in particular, make sure that you give it a like and leave me a comment down below so that I know I should make more videos like it. So this is the card that we're going to be making today, and I'm going to show you step by step how I made this. But before we get too far, I do want to remind you to join the Caterpillar Cross Stitch VIP Stitch Club. When you join, you'll get 10% off your first order, you'll get an ebook with eight free cross stitch patterns in it, and you'll get a digital download of our top 10 cross stitching tips. So make sure you hit the link down there in the description to make sure you get all of those great perks. Now, I've got a lot to teach you today, so let's just jump right in. All right, so the materials that we're gonna need for this project are first, some blank greeting cards. I got these ones complete with envelopes at my local craft store. We're going to need something kind of soft that we can poke a hole through the card into. Uh, I'm going to be using a few layers of the craft felt that I showed you in last week's video, um, but craft foam or even just a towel or a folded tea towel works great for that. We're going to need some scrap Ada. I recommend using 14 count because if you go any smaller than that, you're going to wind up tearing through the paper and wasting all your hard work. So I would do 14 count scrap Ada. And then we're going to need a large sharp needle. This is a darning needle that I also got at my local craft store. We will need a pattern and you can draw something out on grid paper like I did here, or uh, this would be a great thing to use Love It Stitch It for, or you can use an existing element from a pattern that you already have. We're going to need some fabric scissors and we're going to need a fine point or ultra fine point felt tip marker like this one. And then we will need some masking tape or washi tape or some other tape that's not too sticky and easy to remove. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is transfer our pattern onto a piece of that scrap Ada. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to just draw each of the X's onto the fabric in the place where I would normally stitch them. While I'm doing that, I want to remind you to go and get your tickets now for the Caterpillar Stitch Retreat 2024. You don't want to miss your chance to unwind and stitch the weekend away with the Caterpillar crew at a luxurious four-star hotel in the heart of Birmingham, UK. There's going to be workshops, goodies, endless stitching fun, and the event will be have everything for any level of stitcher from beginner friendly to expert guidance. And it's a great chance to meet new people because most people are coming alone. So don't feel afraid if you don't have somebody to come with. In addition to access to the stitching room, your ticket will get you an exclusive project bag, cross stitch kit and needle minder. Plus you'll get all the tea and coffee you can drink, nibbles, and even a chocolate lolly. The VIP ticket also gets early access to the stitching room, a special work shop with Sally, and a limited edition shirt. You can spread the cost of it out over multiple payments with the ClearPay payment plan. So make sure you check that out. And it's very easy to reach from any type of transit you might be using. There are still some tickets available right now, but that won't always be the case. So go and check that out and don't miss your chance. All right, so now that I've got that transferred onto my pattern, I'm just gonna wanna trim away all the excess Ada. Now I wanna leave a little bit of room around it because I am gonna need to tape this to my card to hold it in place. So don't trim it too tight, but definitely trim it smaller than the face of your card. I'm going to get one of these cards out, and it should already have a crease built into it. Make sure that where you're putting your template is the outside of the card. If you put it on the inside, you're going to make some heartache for yourself. So 
So you just want to position it where you want it on the card. And then get yourself some tape. Now you don't want it to be too sticky, so I recommend sticking the tape to yourself a few times to reduce its stickiness a little bit. Otherwise it'll tear up the surface of the card when you peel it off later. So just decide where I want that. Tape that down. You can do either two or four sides, depending on how paranoid you are. Now this is going to be our hole punching template for our stitchable area. So then what we want to do is put our soft material, like I said, either craft felt or craft foam or a towel behind it, and grab that big sharp needle, like a darning needle. And then what we want to do is at any point where we would normally stick the needle through the fabric to make a stitch, we're going to stick the needle through the fabric and punch a hole in our card. So this will take a little while. I'll fast forward that for you. If you're finding it difficult like I was, you can use some pieces of tape to make yourself a little handle make it easier to hang on to your needle. Then once you've done them all, you can flip it over to make sure you haven't missed any spots. I've actually missed a stitch right here. You can also, from this side, you can hold it up to the light and you'll see if any of your spots have been missed. So now that we've transferred our pattern onto the card, we can gently peel that tape back. Now having de-stickied it will help with this a lot, but also if you peel it away parallel to the surface of the paper, it will reduce the odds of the tape damaging the paper. So peel it straight back like this. So now we're just going to stitch it just like we would fabric. So I recommend strongly starting with a loop start because everything that we can do to minimize how much force and wear and tear we put on the paper is a good thing. And keep your pattern handy even though you have the holes to guide you because you are going to need to look at it occasionally. I guess we can get rid of the felt now. I don't know why, but with the paper, I find it really hard to find the hole um, to come back up through. So I wind up turning the project over quite frequently in order to find where to bring my needle back up. Now seems like a pretty good opportunity for me to extol the virtues of online cross-stitching communities, and especially the Caterpillar cross-stitch community. There is an amazing supportive community of stitchers that has grown up around the Caterpillar cross-stitch brand, um, whether that's the Caterpillar cross-stitch Instagram following or especially the Caterpillar cross-stitch Facebook group. There are tens of thousands of stitchers in those spaces that are more than happy to share their expertise, their knowledge, their ideas with other stitchers. 
So I highly recommend seeking those out and joining them because they can be a tremendous resource whether you're brand new to stitching or been doing it your entire life and whether you're looking for help or whether you want to share that knowledge. Really, really excellent resource. Okay, we got all our stitching done there, so I'm just going to bury the end of my thread. And clip my tail. I'm just going to make a square about that big. You can make a piece that's the same size as the whole side of the card. Um, but I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm going to go with a smaller one. So I'm just going to cut a small section out of a paper bag. your fabric scissors for cutting the paper bag obviously or the time traveling ghost of Martha Stewart will come into your living room and strangle you. So let's cut this down a little more to size. You can use a ruler and a measuring tape to make that a little more precise if you want to. But again, I'm going for kind of a rustic handmade charm type situation here. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. So then I'm just going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put a generous layer of glue all the way around there. Now I don't want the edges of this to peel up, so I'm actually going to move my project and put down a piece of protective paper and I'm going to take that glue all the way out to the edge and then a big X of glue in the middle just because I want that whole thing to lay down nice and flat so then I'm just going to Press that into position over the tops of my stitches. And I need a little bit of give in order to be able to hold that flat, but not too much. So again, this is where my craft felt comes in super handy. I'm going to press down good and hard on that, hold it for a little bit until my glue has bonded nicely. And that little bit of give that the craft felt back there provides allows me to make sure that I'm getting good contact with the glue all the way around without benefit of a clamp or a vise or anything. So the color doesn't quite match there, but that's okay for my purposes. If you wanted it to match perfectly, you could sacrifice a piece of another one of the cards or of one of the envelopes to make sure you had a perfect match there. So there we have it, custom cross-stitched greeting card. Now using this method you could make any kind of card that you wanted using components from other patterns or even stitching a small component onto a card that's printed for a cool multimedia card. The only limit is your imagination. But I think that's all the time we had for this week unless you had something to add Nugget. I guess not. Thanks so much for watching. For Caterpillar Cross Stitch my name is Ford and I will see you next time. Nugget's out too. <laughs> Hi! Have you heard about Love It Stitch It yet? You can design and shop the cross stitch patterns you've always wanted. Love It Stitch It is an easy to use design tool and exclusive cross stitch marketplace, giving you the freedom to create, sell and shop all in one place. You can design anything that you like, add text, upload and convert pictures and artwork. You can design the cross stitch patterns of your dream. You can download them for personal use 
or you can upload them onto the marketplace. Designed by cross stitchers for cross stitchers. Jam packed with some gorgeous cross stitch patterns from designers all over the world. If you're not interested in designing or selling, that's totally fine too. Just visit the marketplace and you can shop from hundreds of beautiful cross stitch patterns so you can pick your next project. Are you already a cross stitch designer? But maybe you're fed up of other marketplaces, maybe not getting the sales that you deserve, maybe not getting your patterns seen as much as you'd like? Then let us help. You can easily register for free and get uploading your PDF patterns with absolutely no fees whatsoever. Let us then market your gorgeous designs that you've put all of your work into to over 185,000 dedicated cross stitchers from all over the world. We will absolutely do our best to get your patterns seen and into the right hands of people that we know will absolutely love stitching them. As a designer, you can easily list your PDF patterns for sale, no matter which software you use to design them. Our job is to make cross-stitch design accessible to all. There's nothing to upgrade, there's nothing to download. It's really easy to use and beginner friendly. We also wanted to create the marketplace to bring sellers and buyers together so that it's really easy and such an enjoyable experience to shop all of the high quality verified designs on the platform but also to give those amazing designers a place to really showcase their creativity. So visit loveitstitchit.com today and register for free. Stitch what you love and free your creativity.